Ah, it's just Probably. a flesh wound. Come on. If ever there was a time that a developer had to choose between historical accuracy and gameplay, this would be it. What's up everybody, Durak back at it again with another video. And today we're going to be discussing the debatable topic that is the medic in Hell Let Loose. But before we really get into it, I need to give a brief history lesson because it kind of plays into the narrative as to what I'm trying to tell you. So here we go. The medic, or... First Aid Man was on a separate level than your average GI. They had their own independent department with two bosses that could sometimes conflict with each other. They had a company officer that they had to report to directly and the officer of whatever regiment or division they belonged to. It was difficult, mainly because they didn't know who to answer to. Each platoon had at least one medic, so three platoons, three aid men, and about 75 to 80 individual soldiers. To be a medic, you didn't necessarily have to have a medical background, which sounds really troubling if you ask me. But back in the day, the criteria for medics was fairly low, considering that the most that were picked came from factories where they butchered livestock. The idea here is that as a butcher, you've seen blood, and you've seen flesh being dismembered. That was the thinking that went on back then. They had thought that that would be a good thing to see in a medic, a person with experience in that sort of thing. But I mean, I would still prefer the medical background. <laughs> there were also people who were pacifists, people who believed that war and violence are unjustifiable, for those of you that don't know. But they got drafted. And what do you do with someone who doesn't want to pick up a gun? Traumatize him by making him a medic. I mean, at least he's in a position where you can try to save people now. Because medics were the backbone of the American army. They quite literally had to hold everything together. Now I'm going to be getting into the debatable topic by saying this. In real life, under the Second Geneva Convention, it states that medical personnel are not allowed to carry offensive weaponry onto any field of battle. It's also a war crime to knowingly shoot a medic with a clear insignia on their body. Herein lies the problem. Medics in real life rarely carried weapons. If they did, it would usually be an M1911A1 pistol in the European theater. If it was in the Pacific, it would be the pistol and the M1 carbine. Which of course, Hell Let Loose got this right. But it was more of a personal weapon than anything else. Because, if the medic ever uses this weapon offensively, they sacrifice their protection under the Geneva Convention. So the fact that the medic in the Alpha had a pistol makes no sense for a game that's trying to stress realism. In the Alpha, I played as a medic, so I know from experience on how it feels from a gameplay perspective. Patience is the key. As a medic, I felt defenseless, and I think that's what the devs are trying to go for. It adds a sort of roleplay system, where you're waiting for your teammates to clear out the area before you can push in to pick up the wounded. At least that's what I think they're trying to go for. Maybe I'm reading this wrong. This is one of those things that sounds good on paper, but in practice, it didn't seem to work that well. I can't tell you how many times I've seen comments of people saying that the medic needs a weapon, usually hovering around the M1 carbine or Garand, and uh, I was I was kind of in that camp because, you know, I've, I've played as the medic and I felt like I was really defenseless, which was the point of the medic. You're supposed to feel defenseless, so that way you stay in the background instead of, you know, charging in. It's historically accurate and makes sense. But at what point do you make a game a game? The reason that I ask this is because when I was playing the game, I saw a majority of people that weren't even taking the medic role. And it would get really annoying when I go down and there's just no medics around. Just to be clear, I used to be in the camp of giving a gun to the medic, but after talking to my old buddy Knox, he didn't necessarily convince me but he brought me to a train of thought that has me mixed. So at this point I'm just like, okay, Whatever the developers go with, I'm fine with. Because it could work either way. If the medic doesn't get a weapon, then the medic is going to have to learn to stay in the background and to pick his fights. Because he's defenseless. I think that the medic should get some kind of incentive to make the players actually want to play as the medic so that they can receive something. I don't know. Getting the most points for getting 
the most heals on the field for not dying as much, you know, that kind of thing. And if they do just give the medic a gun, well, the players win, right? Now they could fight at the front line with everybody else. I tried to reach out to the devs to see if I could get an answer on if they actually decided to give the medic a rifle or not, and I didn't have any luck. So we'll see when the beta comes out. And that's pretty much all I had to say for this video. So, uh, what are your thoughts? Did you play as the medic in the alpha? Tell me your thoughts below, because this is the end of my video. I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye